All right, we're burning the midnight oil here. It's dark outside. It's midnight. Uh, we have a 1999 yes, sir. Toyota Camry. And we are going to do plugs because it's running rough. There's the plugs, the NGK series. All right, we're going to get into this. All right, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to pop all these out. So my uh, assistant here, slash owner of the car, he's going to pull them all up and just pull them straight up. In theory. In theory. The car's a little toasty. We've been driving it. And then just lay them in front. All right, and there's no oil on the end of any of the boots, so that's a good sign that the uh, valve cover seals are still holding, because we just did those. Okay, so we have a 5 8 3 8 drive snap-on wrench, a collectible snap-on wrench. This thing's 25 years old, and I don't normally let people borrow my tools. Older than I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's going to go ahead and take all these. Basically, he's going to loosen them up. I don't think that that spark plug socket will pull him up, so I'll have to show you a little trick here in a minute. We're going to let him go ahead and loosen those bad boys up. All right, so he's coming up on the last one here. We're almost all done, and, and on, as like we figured, all the plugs were uh, still down in the cylinder head. They just wouldn't come up with the socket. So we have the uh, fuel hose here. Actually, it's transmission oil cooler hose. Three-eighths. And... Give you an idea of what we're going to do. Spark plug slides right in the end of it. Alright, so we're going to take the hose, grab Mr. Spark plug, even undo this. Yeah. Alright, so you just shove the hose in the spark plug and then you pull it out. And since this car is still hot, I am not dumb enough to grab that plug. Because I'm going to burn my fingers. Oh, that one's... Yeah, a little bit of leak on the uh, seal there. To look into that a little bit, but the owner says he doesn't care. Anyway, you guys get the idea here. Okay, so we got the plugs out. We're gonna do the anti seize. We're just gonna put a little coating on the tips here. So it just ran around the uh, top part of the plug. my finger around it and that's your anti-seize on the plug. Alright so we got the spark plug in the hose. I'm gonna drop it down the cylinder. Find the center. And we're just yep, there was a click so now I know it's seated. And I'm just gonna spin this hose until it tightens up. All right, so I got the snips out and cut the hose to fit because I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. You get that feeling there? He's got it. He's got it. Everybody's got it. I want some. You want some. Everybody wants some ice cream. There we go. There's the click again. Okay, I'm going to spin that a couple times. Okay, so we got the, got the clicking. And, of course, he went and had to put Metallica and turned the Sandman on. Here I'm playing Eric Clapton. All right, so that's spun down. Take it off. Now we know that's threaded. We won't strip the head. Next plug. You're gonna anti-seize. They're slick. Should wipe it off. It's a little bit goes a long way. Twenty years. Twenty years, baby. 
just roll the plug in it. There you go. And just take your finger and just... You don't want to get it on the tip and you don't want to get it all the way down at the end, but probably leave yourself like four threads at the end. And don't get it on your white shirt because yeah. it will not come out. it up the plug come out nope all right keep going take it till it bottoms out that way you know that the plug is threaded all the way down no plug all right This is car music. Who said black guys don't like Metallica? This is car music. <laughs> the stuff he was playing before was not cool. Making me sad. Uh, Eric Clapton. <laughs> I am 30 years older than you are. <laughs> Yeah, our, our generation gap is more than you are of age. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one to go. These are the G power plugs. That and listening to Metallica makes your car go faster. Yes, it does. <laughs> Sato Bono. We put that uh that uh. 4.6 Ford in the car here. Let's see if we're what to do. I like this videotape and I'm not doing the work. This is cool. I gotta do more of this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just found a replacement. All right, looks like he's got it in there. That's it. Now we're gonna get the uh, spark plug wrench out and tighten them up. So basically, uh, you just take them down to where you, you bottom them out and ah, quarter turn, half turn. You just wanna get that uh, crush washer to see. That looks good to me. Human torque wrench. Yep. Don't take much on these uh, aluminum head motors. Not to mention when your hands are the size of a Godzilla's feet. <laughs> Put the plug wires back in. And it's so hot. It's still hot. Yes, it is. The trick here is when you push these down, you want them to click. And the reason I'm doing this is he ran over to the music box. God only knows what he's going to put on. No Snoop Doggy Dog or whatever it is. Doggy dog. No Snoop Doggy Dog. Hear that click? There was one, two, three, and four. All four wires are in. They're brand new wires. We just put them in a couple weeks ago, so that's why we didn't bother changing them out. So now he's got new wires and new plugs. And that should help this car run a lot better. That's it, folks. Uh, spark plug change on a 99 Camry. 
Come back to Tudor, dude. <laughs> All right. You happy? Love it. He loves it. Loves it. He likes working on this stuff.